Ireland was convinced to join the euro by former UK Prime Minister Tony Blair, but now it needs to show courage to free itself from the straitjacket of the single European currency, an Irish diplomat has claimed. Ray Bassett, the former Irish ambassador to Canada, Jamaica and the Bahamas, believes Ireland needs to give serious consideration following in the UK's footsteps with Irexit. He says a courageous decision will be required to deliver financial independence in parallel. Mr. Bassett outlines his ideas about Irexit, and the Eurozone, in his new book, Ireland and the UK Post-Brexit. Explaining Ireland's decision to sign up for the Euro in 2002, he said, The differences of opinion in London between then Prime Minister Tony Blair and his Chancellor Gordon Brown were put down to petty political turf wars. In Ireland, we had great admiration for Blair, who had helped deliver the Good Friday Agreement and in a manner which no other British Prime Minister would have been capable of doing. Blair was very pro-Euro and this only reinforced the Irish government's view that the Euro was a desirable place to be. The arguments that Brown articulated, which now look very sound, were given no real hearing. Ireland, Forfeited with the assurances from Tony Blair that it was on the right course, with its enthusiastic commitment to the European project, sailed on and into disaster. Mr. Bassett, who emphasized the approach continued under former Taisha Leo Varadkar, said there had been little doubt in political circles about the wisdom of joining the monetary union, and very little actual analysis. He added, while working inside the Irish civil service, I remember, in the build-up to our joining, there was a steely determination in political circles to show the world that, in contrast to the British, we were good Europeans. There was even a feeling of smugness at the time, that the UK, for internal political reasons was not joining but no doubt would be forced to sign up later. This complacent attitude was to wreak havoc on our economy during the crash. 